Hello everybody, this is the Imagine Of, and welcome to the second part to episode 8. We're releasing this today because uh, episode 8, uh, where we built the Il Mango Super Smelter and got it decorated by the end, was it was a little bit uh, just over-focused and uh, short and to the point, and I kind of like to hang out with my uh, viewers and, and do a little powwow, and there were some things that went on between episodes 7 and 8 that we didn't have a chance to discuss. And uh, so, without further ado, um, if you have the time, if you would take a look in your bottom right-hand corner of your screen, there is a Imagine of Watermark, and if you click on that, and there's a subscribe button, and I would love to have you subscribe. So, what we're doing today is we're going to have a quick run over of the, some of the things that we did. And uh, some of my astute viewers are going to notice what on earth do we got spruce trees growing on the side of the hill. And uh, in the distance over here, let's get over to this area. If you look off into this direction, you'll see that we have ooh, a dark oak growing. Now, we didn't have dark oak or spruce. Uh, and you didn't see me go get anything that was dark oak or spruce. And that's because uh, in between 7 and 8, I took a 1,200 block journey off to the south here and kind of went back and forth about four or 500 blocks crisscrossing like that. And uh, I was in search of a potential um, swamp biome to see if we could find a witch hut so that I could get some lighting materials by building a witch farm. The problem is I didn't find one, and that probably means that either I'm going to have to do a bunch more exploring in all directions, which is not a problem, um, to see if we can find one of those witch huts. Uh, because... That's the easiest way to get glowstone, and we need some kind of better lighting um, than torches. We're, we're fixing to upgrade from torches to lanterns and then maybe to glowstone. Um, but I've got a few things uh, in addition to uh, telling you about the journey. So now we have spruce, and we have dark oak, and we have the saplings and the ability to reproduce those. Um, we also... Uh, need to talk about what we're doing over here uh, with the nether because there are a lot of things I need in the nether and uh, we don't really have the best spawn uh, as far as getting to all the resources and we're nowhere near uh, land we're kind of in the ceiling over a lake of lava and uh, that's an issue so we got to find a way to get to a safe area in the nether uh, that's efficient and reusable all right so that's number one and then number two is uh, this portal it, when I uh, do my overnight fishing or I'm down working in the mine lots of mobs spawn up here at night uh, if I don't sleep and then they wander into the portal and get sucked into the nether and when we go inside the nether they're there waiting to kill me right as soon as I walk in. And so we're going to build something today that's going to look really cool and keep the mobs from this plane out of my nether. <laughs> that way we can go in and out without dying the second we walk in our nether portal. Um, that's one. And then two, you'll notice that we are sporting um, a fancy set of magic diamond armor. Now, I, I went ahead and used a bunch of my levels uh, and kept, d during all the auto fishing I did, I probably did like six days of auto fishing all night and sometimes half of the day. And I got uh, an Unbreaking Protection Aqua Affinity Respiration Helmet. I've got Fire Protection Unbreaking on my chest plate. I've got uh, Projectile projection, uh, Protection Unbreaking Three and Thorns. And then I have Feather Falling, uh, Unbreaking, and Death Strider on these. So we're doing better. And we have 
but a smooth chops um my famous axe from the digs and diamond server series we have diamonds are us we have quick and silky one and we have silky so uh we're doing really good on tools we got a good sword and barbecue slaying loot uh the thing is, I, I can't use these in the nether because I'm afraid uh, of losing that massive set of enchantments and all the levels I used to do that. So what I did, and this is important, I, I feel like it's important that you know what I'm doing. And uh, because this is the imagine of, and, and we got to know. All right, so here we are. So what I did in addition to this is I made a full backup set of all diamond stuff. So this is what I'm going to wear in the nether. And I'll take this with me and this and this. Now if I die, I will lose all this, but I will still have all of this. And I will keep that in a chest separate. Now, that said... So we have some redundancy, and we're ready to go do some more exploring in the nether um, and get ourselves to a safer, uh, easier access to all the goodies in the nether. Um, the last thing is, is that we have to uh, start thinking about getting to the end. Um, so that is why some of the resources I need in the nether are so important. We need some blaze rods. And in order to do that, uh, we have to find uh, a, a fortress in there somewhere. And yeah, so we got, we got those things to do. So I think the first thing we'll do today, this has been a long intro, uh, we will get our little situation here set up to where we no longer have baddies going in and out of our nether portal and just us will be in there and i'll come up with some cool uh blocks and things and we'll get something really nice built here and i'll be back in just a few minutes with a little progress update
All right, we're back. Uh, we've done a little bit of uh, building here, and um, I'm kind of digging what I'm getting out of this. Um, hopefully, it it doesn't look too bad to you guys. Uh, there's going to be, uh, I think, a little special feature, and I built these little uh, glass pockets here um, to put lava in. So each one of these is going to illuminate the inside of our build uh, with the awesome light of lava, and I've got those on all the sides. Um, I haven't got everything built out yet. I was just really in the designing phase, but I want it to be cool, man. This is where our nether portal is for right now. And um, then we come in here, it's going to have some neat reflections, and I think I'm going to have water just around the outside of this little two block area underneath everything. So it'll just, it'll look cool. And uh, I don't know, I think it looks all right. Um, I did find out that they made chains now, so you can hang these, which is, that that's a good idea. Like, I... That's way better than just nerfing auto fishing, you know, like pay this guy more money, um, Mojang. So uh, anyway, yeah, we're getting there. We're going to finish designing uh, this and, and I'll come back when I get the rest of it built and uh, get the lava in and we'll see what it looks like. All right, here we are with uh, our little lava pile that we had by the house and uh, Getting ready to make a trip back over. And I've got all these buckets of lava. And uh, hopefully it's only uh, that spilling the lava and burning yourself, which is a real thing, is only happens when you carry it on your uh, in your hand, hopefully. We'll find out. I haven't done carried lava around in a while. But let's see here what we got. Getting some lag. All kinds of good lag today. I tell you what, every time uh, the bootstrapper or whatever the launcher application uh, updates on uh, this, it seems to just take all the, the hard work I put into my settings and mess it up somehow. So let's see what we got here, though. All right, we kind of wound up with this. I've got to put some kind of door in. I don't have any pistons or, or, or slime to make... A sticky piston so I can't really yet put uh, a cool piston door in here but let's just see what it looks like with our lava in place I'm so excited that I want to see what this what this does for the build and I don't think I have any wood near the lava I hope I don't You always like to concentrate when you're working with lava, you know? Make sure you don't do anything completely stupid. All right. Oh, cool. Nice. It adds a good accent to it. Right on. Let me get uh, a couple more buckets down on my bar here. And we'll just got to be careful not to burn myself when I'm jumping here. All right. I've been having a really good time uh, doing a build like this. Um, I haven't had a chance to exercise my creativity uh, in a long time. So uh, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Let's get a look at it here. Uh, get back. There we go. F1. That's going to be cool, man. And it's going to have a little spark shooting out of it. And uh, I'm not putting anything on top of there. And hopefully it doesn't burn the wood I have in my build up. Um, because it looks kind of cool. The only thing that might make it look cooler is if we uh, go in here to the... Uh, I saw that soul campfire. And we might have to put one of those. There it is. I mean, would that not look cool? somewhere on top or in the four corners so 
I may have to add that um, to this. But this is going to be our new new look for the Nether portal. And uh, I'm going to do a few more tweaks, and then we're going to move on to a couple more things, and we'll wrap up the episode today. So hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. And here we are at the uh, end of this little part of the build and the episode today. I hope that uh, this looks pretty good. I think adding the soul campfires really, really did the trick. Um, I think that uh, at some point I'm, I'm going to come back in, maybe add some accents. I'm going to stew on it a little bit. I always go back and tweak things at the end when I'm done building stuff. Um, and just add something, you know, I'll sit there and go, you know, that could, it needs some kind of uh, stairs or upside down stairs to kind of soften the transition uh, between some of these bigger blocks, I think. But for a rough outline of uh, the shape, I think that's pretty good. And we might incorporate, you know, some of this design into our, uh, into our big pyramid build once, once we get some more material, but we're, Definitely going to need uh, more of uh, this black stone. So what we're going to do now uh, to kind of wrap up the episodes, we're going to go in and I'm going to kind of give you a heads up um, on uh, what we're going to do in the nether or what needs to be done. So we're going to... It's kind of noisy in here. I got zombie pigmen and... Uh, and all kinds of things going on. I noticed on this they have one flappy ear... And that's kind of cool. Uh, if you look right there, you got a flappy ear. Um, okay, with all the noise going on, I've got my good stuff in here. So if I die, I'll just reset to this bed, and we'll be right here. So let's go check out what's going on. And fortunately for me, I came in here uh, the other day. And got rid of the mobs that were... There's a skeleton. Let's get him. Ah, missed him. Got him. All right. Um, so, we've got all kinds of issues in here. Uh, namely, um, how to get to some land. And I'll get away from the portal so it's not making so much noise. Um, waiting on some chunks to load. And now I've got uh, some really bad anti-aliasing going on that I didn't have before. And uh, I'm wondering if I go in and turn on... Uh, Mojang did an update, and I think it messed up or changed one of my settings. So we're going to go into Options, Video Settings. Let's see, Quality. Let's turn the MIP maps on and see if that gets rid of that wavy lines on my on my lava I think it whoa I got him all right don't mess with me mr. Gast um, yeah that fixed up quite a bit um, on the lava so yeah we got a ways to go uh, to get anywhere and feel comfortable but uh, so this is one direction we can go but even this direction here uh, you know we gotta kind of get over to there and take a turn or something and if we go this direction this might be a viable option here I kind of went this way looking around a little bit and uh, we might be able to scoot along this edge. Uh, let's see, I'm always super careful in here because um, I'm prone to die when I'm not careful. Oh, that was so close. I'm trying to get that bad ghast over there. Um, he went away. All right. Uh, so, I'm thinking we can go this way. Um, there's some ground level stuff over here. Um, and uh, But really, prior to that, we don't have a good way uh, to get down there. Uh, we might be able to tunnel down this sideway. And uh, if I can just get down to lake level, 
we'll be all right for uh, investigating and doing our thing. But um, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of work, and uh, and I need to do some um, investigating and and maybe some of the thinking part off camera or off video. Um, look in there. So that's some of the new stuff we haven't seen either. Um, this gets me into that mode where I'm kind of just spastic and uh, can't focus. Oh, man. What's all that down there? Oh, goodness. There's all kinds of things going on in the nether. Um, let's see. These guys are so hard for me to hit. Because they, they seem to know, right? When you're trying to uh, hit them. And they're, you can never quite tell how far away they are. Oh, that hits you. And then they disappear right when you're getting ready to hit them. So I'm going to do some work in here. And uh, we'll probably start off the next episode with uh, episode 9. With the progress report or update into uh into oh no this is not good uh this i think is a hoglin hopefully i'm not gonna die now because i did that um for those of you who know what's going on uh i don't know if i should have done that uh, but he was hitting me and uh that's not good I don't even know what makes them want to kill me. And that can be the worst kind of enemy. So uh, let's say uh, we kind of go down here and uh, get to the safety of our little nether diamond place. Or not diamond place. Man, I'm, not, I'm talking about diamonds and I'm getting chopped by some kind of creature I don't even know about. Um, so now we're safe in here. See? And uh, the bad guys can be on the outside doing the thing that they're doing. And uh, we can come out in the safety of our own little place. And, uh, yeah, this is cool, guys. I like this. And, and we can see the, we can observe the night and all the good stuff. All right. So, let's uh, finish off the episode proper. And, uh, let's see here. There we go. And, uh... I tell you what, I had a good time today, and I had a great time building the El Mango Smelter, and we got more of that coming. And I hope you look forward to uh, next week when we're doing some work in the nether, and we'll have a good adventure in there and kind of get our situation stabilized. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this week's episodes, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Thank you.